Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. Originally I was going to do um, some last minute Navy aircraft I thought of, the S3 Viking, the P3 Orion, but the Viking is it, or its uh, electronic warfare variant is not in the game, and the Orion is only modeled in the game as an AWACS, which is curious, but so there wouldn't be anything to show there. So instead, we will be starting with uh, Russian and Ukrainian aircraft. And uh, I think we'll start with... Uh, we'll start with the MiG-23. So, Flogger B. And uh, the MiG-23 was a um, fighter, excuse me, made by the uh, Soviets in the 60s, 70s era. Um, they used swept wings because they they wanted this to operate from forward airfields that needed low approach speeds. Um, and the um, while it's mostly been retired now, it's still in service with a couple of uh, a couple of countries. Uh, certainly, Russia retired all their stocks of of uh, single-engine aircraft, but Ukraine might still have a few. Though well, I think they've mostly retired those two in favor of their more modern aircraft. So. Set up. Uh, yeah, let's make this fair. <laughs> Since their uh, IC 27s are going to vastly outperform anything we got, we'll start 20 miles away. So we see, okay, for our armament here, we see um, th this is modeled after like. Uh, because there's a couple variants to make 23. Most are fire, but there was some made for export that were redesigned around ground attack rather than um, air combat. And that those variants were actually, I believe, based off of or inspired the MiG-27, which is basically a ground attack variant of the MiG-23, designed exclusively for that. So what we could probably take is can take some animals, some Atoll missiles, since I don't know if the MiG-20, I assume modern ones have been made with support for the Archer, so you know I'm going to throw down a couple of those. And then I think this is something only like the MiG-25 MiG-31, we can take some of these. A eights too. So yeah. So we'll fly with that. That gives us uh, plenty of options. We see uh, no self defense jammers. Yeah, let's move to engage. Let's take out the flankers first, because those are going to wreck our day. So, first up we have the Alamo missile here, which is, uh, now these AA-8s, I'm trying to remember what the range is on them. Because I know a lot of Soviet missiles are actually made in two variants. They had... Uh, one variant would have uh, an IR seeker, another one would have a radar seeker or semi-active radar seeker. The, the idea being, if you jam one, you're still vulnerable to the other. And we're just about out of chat. Yeah, we missed our shot with the L. Missile launch. 
Yeah, Fox we took a bad two. hit there. Missile launch. Missile launch. Missile launch. And you can see, uh, the Make 23 was a contemporary of the uh, F4 Phantom, so you can see our maneuverability isn't the best, and even at the time it was generally considered inferior to the Phantom. What is it? I assume we're probably pretty, oh, only 35%, so must have been a near miss, essentially. Oh, yeah. And you can hear our wingmen are just getting torn apart by these guys. And, I mean, even us, we're having problems tracking. Come on, baby. Yeah, they're having some successes against the fulcrums, but not that many. I don't think we'll be able to stay with this guy too much longer. That'll get on the swarm a little. Yeah, we're stalling out. So we're gonna disengage. Because we can not keep up with it. Okay. There we go. Now hopefully we can spin around. Who knows, maybe we'll be in range for an Elmo shot now. Or not, but... There we go, we got the AA-8 tracking. Fire off another one. Right, so we got 45% in probably, but I think he's too close. Okay, yeah, he was too close. Oh. All right. Nearest bandit, five o'clock low. So we'll move to engage. Ah. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> so uh, our radar guy must have gotten hit. So we are entirely reliant on uh, visually acquiring. You can see how little fuel there is. See, we started with full fuel in the air and we're already at Joker Fuel. Now. Flash one, flanker. I'm taking a oh, shot. Yeah, big 21. There we go, we saw hints of the air battle up there. 11 o'clock high. Big 29, is it ours? Theirs, that's a question. Friendly. I do see... Oh, he's dropping, I think he's dead. <laughs> he dead. Oh, okay, there's another guy up there. Yeah, if we look over quick, we see we have 8,000 pounds of fuel. Of course, the AI, using their afterburner, is going to have less than that. Uh, well, let's see if we got a... Uh, looks like he's chasing a MiG-29. Fuel. Yeah, they're about to crash. 
which to be fair, if we can't, uh, oh hey, we have ourselves targeted, that's interesting. You're at 6 o'clock high. I see nothing in my RWR. Okay. So we got them barely. We have two wingmen left who are probably just about out of fuel. Certainly, uh, we're pretty close to running out. And we can say the only reason we won this was because of superior numbers. And even then, only barely. So that's a, a showcase of the MiG-23 here. It might have been a decent fighter around the time of Vietnam, but certainly no, no match for modern planes, even the Soviet ones, which don't have the BVR capabilities, or as much of the BVR capabilities as American fighters. So if we were to simulate against like F-15s, we'd just get shredded. Even against the Phantom, I would give the edge to the Phantom generally. Especially the later variants that had the uh, cannons added to them. So with that, we'll end the mission. And we can see the targets were destroyed, but we lost... Uh, we didn't even get any kills. I mean, we got a couple hits, I think, but... No, we didn't even get any hits. All of our missiles got decoyed. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, we didn't we didn't get a chance to use our help, but we missed that chance. Uh, that was my fault, because I was busy playing around with the AA-8, but... We might have gotten a hit had they not destroyed the one flanker, but... Yeah, so definitely no match for modern aircraft. But, uh, and you can see how badly the Ukrainian Air Force would have been doing, too, because their main... They would have only have had a handful of flankers during the Ukraine War. Their main... They probably would have been left also with stocks of uh, MiG-21s and MiG-23s, so whereas Russia would have had the benefit of larger numbers of MiG-29s and SU-27s, as well as MiG-31s, so you can see how... You know, there's a reason the Ukrainian Air Force did uh, pretty poorly in the campaign, so... Uh, with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned next time as we continue to showcase the Ukrainian and Russian aircraft in the Ukraine conflict, so see you then.